Chapter 4 Should Have Been Joey Grapes Spring flew by pretty quickly, and I was so wrapped up in baseball that I forgot all about my impending doom, or as my parents like to call it, our summer vacation. Every once in a while, they would mention another idea, and I did what I do best, by letting it go in one ear and right out the other. That is, until my dad called another family meeting in mid-May. My friend T-Bone was over, and I wanted to get him out before he heard about our rotten vacation plans. It was embarrassing enough to vacation in New Jersey. There was no need to advertise it. Unfortunately, my mom told him he could stay. Okay, guys, my dad began. Your mom and I have become quite the experts on New Jersey, and we found some great places to visit. I guarantee you will have all have fun. Is it a money-back guarantee? I asked under my breath. They pretended not to hear me. We tried to find the best places for each week, and we tried to combine as many places as possible, so some days we may be visiting three or four places. Excellent, Timmy blurted out. I shot him a look before the word was even out of his mouth. Sorry, he mumbled with his head down. Anyway... My mom said, we wanted to surprise you, but we're so excited that we decided to give you the details of our first New Jersey day trip. Before they went any further and really embarrassed me in front of my friend, I stood up. Actually, I think I'd rather be surprised. Sit down, said my dad. Alrighty then, I mumbled when I rolled my eyes. Now, school is finished the third week of June, so we'll use seven weeks to really get to know all of the great things New Jersey has to offer. We could probably get it done in seven hours, I said in a loud whisper. Again, they pretended not to hear me. Luckily, we picked up some brochures from the Department of Travel and Tourism, and there are even coupons we can use if we plan carefully. My face was growing redder by the minute. I couldn't believe they were talking about coupons in front of my friend. Why didn't they just hire an airplane to skywrite where cheap over the neighborhood? Probably because they didn't have a coupon. So for the first day trip, we're going to, drum roll please, High Point. It's the highest point in New Jersey. That's a very clever name, I muttered. I'm sure the Rocky Mountains are really jealous. Hey, that's a great place. I've gone there. My eyes popped wide open and my head spun around. It couldn't be, but it was. My good friend, T-Bone, was selling me out. He was smiling and actually encouraging my parents. I should have made him leave. Have you really been there, Tommy? My mom gushed. Is it nice? Did you have fun? Have you ever been to a place called Sunrise Mountain? Yeah, once. Pretty cool, he answered. See, gloated my dad, pointing at T-Bone. He thought it was cool. Do they have princesses? Maggie asked. I don't think so, T-Bone answered. But there's a fire museum on the way. Isn't your mother calling you? I asked him. No, he answered, afraid to look at me. On our first trip, my father continued, we'll go to Newtown and visit the Fire Museum. Then we'll visit Branchville and have a picnic at Stokes State Forest. Finally, we'll go to the highest point in New Jersey. I looked at my dad's face and could not believe he was so excited. Then again, I couldn't believe T-Bone was so excited either. What other trips are we taking? Timmy asked. Well, your father and I thought that instead of telling you about every trip right now, every Sunday we'll announce the trip for that week. This way, it'll be a surprise. They had to be kidding. There had to be a video camera hidden somewhere. A surprise was usually good, and this was not good. Not good at all. Are we finished? I asked. Actually, no, my dad said slowly, looking at my mom. Stay here for a second so I can talk to your mother about something. 
While my parents talked in private, I looked at Timmy, Maggie, and T-Bone. My parents seemed to have lost their minds, and except for Emma, who only worries about having enough juice in her sippy cup, they were all traitors. While we waited, I realized I wasn't even curious about what they were discussing. I was terrified. At this rate, I couldn't even imagine what they were dreaming up. Before I could guess, they returned with their big, goofy smiles. Your mom and I just talked about it, and we think we have a great idea. Yeah! Emma yelled. And it was official. They were all traitors, even baby Emma. This news is really for Nikki, my mom said, looking at me. Daddy and I thought that you might enjoy yourself more if you had a friend on our trips. And since the van seats seven, her voice trailed off and she smiled at T-Bone and then me. I guess she wanted me to jump up and down, but the complete and utter humiliation kept me in my chair. I just stared back. What your mother is trying to say is that we thought you might want to invite Tommy on our day trips. What do you think? What do I think? Were they serious? Now they want to know what I think? For a week, I've broken every child labor law to let them know what I think, and they didn't care. Now they wanted my opinion? I think I hate the whole idea, and I think my friend does not want to be stuck in our goofy van driving all over New Jersey. I'll go, T-Bone said without hesitation. Slowly, I turned my head and tried to make eye contact with him, but he refused to look at me. He stared straight ahead. Wonderful, my mom said. Tommy, we'd be happy to have you, and I think you'll probably make a great tour guide. Hey, that's right, my dad laughed. It'll be like going on safari and hiring a native guide to take you around. Yeah, that's exactly what bringing T-Bone on our trips would be like. The only problem was that T-Bone still got lost in our development. By the time school got out in June, the only thing my parents ever talked about were the stupid day trips. It was like New Jersey Palooza. At dinner, in the car, giving Emma a bath, it didn't matter. No matter what the conversation was about, it always came back to the day trips, and it always involved more ideas. Last week, they bought a new digital camera and printer. Without a coupon, so that they could make us each a scrapbook. Then, my mom decided that Timmy and I should keep a journal because it would be so much fun. The more I thought about it, the more I appreciated not taking a vacation last summer. Even though we unpacked boxes every day, at least I didn't have to write about it. It was the night before the big day, our first day trip in New Jersey, and the elves were all busy. My mom was making lists, my dad was cleaning out the van, and the kids were picking things for the day trip bag, another of their great ideas. Since we would be stuck in the car for hours at a time, each kid got to pick out a book, a quiet game, and a videotape. I decided to call my grandfather instead. Hi, Pop, what's up? Hey, kiddo, he said. All ready for the big trip tomorrow? Are you kidding? No, why do you ask? Because the whole thing stinks. Nikki, do you remember how much you hated the idea of moving last year? Yeah. Well, now look at you. You're happy in New Jersey. You've made new friends. You're on a great baseball team. And you still see me, Graham, and your old friends all of the time. It all worked out, didn't it? What's your point? My point is that sometimes, even though you don't believe it, your parents know what they're doing. Pop, they promised we would go to Florida someday, and instead, we're going to New Jersey. And by the way, we already live in New Jersey. It does sound funny when you put it that way, he laughed. Except it's not funny. Nick, I'm willing to bet that you will, once again, be surprised. Your parents told me some of the places on that list, and I know for a fact that you'll have fun. Doubt it, I said. 
do an old man a favor and give it a chance. I mean, really give it a chance. Your parents have gone to a lot of trouble and they are so excited. So you want me to pretend to be excited? Pretty much, he answered. Anyway, you're bringing your friend Tommy, aren't you? That's another thing, I complained. Why should my friend have to suffer? According to your parents, he wants to go with you. Yeah, Pop, I said as I hung up. But if anyone should be forced to sit through day trips, it shouldn't have to be an innocent guy like him. It should have been Joey Grapes.